Well, here we are. We're uh, this is part two of a short quartering an elk. We've got this bull already uh, caped on this one side. We, we're ready to remove the front shoulder, and uh, I just wanted to kind of explain how we do it. But uh, I try to get as much meat as possible. We've been accused of not taking all the meat, but we take just about everything we can. So, uh, and you'll notice that as we cape this out. Because uh, elk meat's just too good to waste, isn't it, Jay? Yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make an incision clear to the ribs right here. Just kind of like, I don't want to go through the back strap up here, but just kind of score that right here. And I'm going to have, this is Sean. This young man shot this bull this morning. Mm -hmm. He's going to help us just... It's going to be a little tough at first and then it'll get a little easier. Just hold up on that just a little bit. And then we'll, we'll start removing this, this quarter. We're going to take it right at the brisket. There's a lot of meat in the brisket that we can take. Okay, right. See if we can pull it up just a little more. I don't know, you might not be able to see this on video, but... You kind of get the idea. I'm going to just take my knife and I'm just going right up against the ribs. And you can see it's, it's getting a little easier, isn't it, Sean? Oh, yeah. As it comes up on its own, taking that shoulder up. I'm going to take the neck with it. I'm not going to take any bone other than what's in the shoulder. All right, I want you to step across here. Mm -hmm. I'll hold it for a second here. You're going to have to stoop and we'll get this done really quick. And you can grab his forearm there, where I got it. You got it? Nope, actually I don't. Oh, no. uh, can Keep reaching. There you go. Hold on. We have here a zipper here. Here. There you go. Okay. There you go. Yeah, perfect. I'll get over here. Perfect. Right. Make sure your leg is out of my way with the knife. <laughs> and I'm going to take this lot of good meat right up against the ribs here. And I'm just skinning, kind of skinning, I guess you'd call it, with that and keep pulling it that way. So, okay. I'm going to take the whole shoulder blade and arm off of here. Okay, and one thing that I think is really, really important is keeping this thing clean while we're out, as clean as possible in the field. We've got some game bags, homemade game bags here. We're going to throw that right over the top of that, like that. And now you can step over on that side, Sean. Mm -hmm. Now, when it flops, finally. Go ahead and step across. There we go. There we go. Oh, now look how easy that is. <laughs> See? We're just going to take it right down the back there. We'll take a big bit chunk of that neck with this quarter. I can't believe that. Just comes right off of it. This this is a method, of course, that you don't have to you don't have to have a saw or a hatchet or an axe. Okay, pull that way. It's kind of nice to have a little help, but <laughs> other than that, all right, we got that quarter off of there. All right, we can stop it. We're going to take the back quarter off of this elk now since we got this side exposed. So we're going to start, we don't, we're going to make this cut down his backbone all the way to the tail. There's a little thinner hide back here so it's not as hard on your knife. Again, I'm, I'm cutting away from myself again. Pretty important. The whole idea of this short quartering is that we're going to leave his backbone and his ribs right here. And you know, grizzly bears need to eat too, right Jay? Yeah, we know about that. <laughs> Well, we're just going to make a little offering to them. Nothing wrong with that. The uh, 
guts and all fall, that'll stay right, right, right in them. You don't have to mess with that by using this method. Okay, I've got her, got him cut all the way down that way. Then I'm gonna take, if you notice, there's an indentation where this quarter starts right here, this hip, whole hip right here. I'm gonna just make an incision in the hide here too and do the same thing, cut away from myself. I'm going to keep the hide on this. Um, I do like to keep the hide on on the back quarters just because it keeps that meat cleaner if you keep it on there until you get it to the butcher. And by taking him apart like this again, we're going to give him give him a chance to really cool out in this hot weather we're having right now. That's really important. Okay, Sean, mm -hmm. I'm going to have you help me. Same thing? Yeah, hold Same up. Thing. i got to cut your handle right here. Oh, awesome. And I might have to, Jay, I might have to have you come around, around this other side just to get this. I'm going to continue just cutting the hide. This one takes a little practice. All right, we've got... His testicle sacks right down here. Most states require that 